Hey, what's up guys? So this is going to be part seven in the gear analysis series. So today we're gonna do the skull crusher. And the reason for that is I recently got my skull crusher to gold. So I wanted to celebrate also by showing off this great piece of gear. So if you don't know this, this gear analysis series, we're doing all the level 60 except the champion gear. Uh, so mostly from a free to play perspective. So we're gonna look at uh, mostly like blue and purple and some of the gold uh, piece of equipment, but most players, most most free to play will have like a uh, purple uh, gears. Uh, so far we've done the Bumble M, the firewall plate. We've actually done the storm task set. Uh, we've done the cups, the blight ring, as well as the winter mitts. So like I said, this is part seven in the series. And today this is for team skull crusher. So the, let's go straight up into the cabinet and look at this equipment. So obviously it's part of the main hand. We're going to look at it at a purple grade because most free to play players will achieve either blue, purple, some will achieve gold, maybe in the future. I know there's not a lot of free to play players with a gold skull crusher. So um, definitely what's the skull crusher good for ranged attack. It has some infantry defense, which we don't, we all know that defense is not that good but it's still stats that will help you. 16% defense is better than 0% defense, right? So army attack also, by the way, army attack, it's basically you need to do times three to get the real stats because this is 13% range at uh, infantry as well as cav, as well as siege, but we will disregard the siege. So basically when you look at the skull crusher at a purple grade, you can, uh, uh, you can think that the the stats are 13 percent times three so 39 plus 9.5 so that's 48.5 percent attack as well as 16 percent defense now in this analysis we're going to look at the skull crusher with the other piece of gear that most free to play players use which is the frostwing greatsword we're also going to look at the champion gear but we're going to look at the champion gear at a lower grade because uh champion is champion champion is usually in any slots the best piece of gear to have especially on a mixed uh mix mix set we're not really gonna look at the other ones like ghastly cane it's for infantry not really good for for mix same thing with eon x but it's for cav we're all but we're gonna talk about some of the blast things that are easier to achieve like the terror lash uh, and the um, worm rod. We're not gonna look at the orange cudgel because this is for cav and the only thing that we have as far as cav stats is the army attack. So this is definitely never gonna be good enough for cav. So first of all, let's go and do the comparison uh, with a purple Frostwing Greysword. So if you're familiar with these videos, uh, I have these little, these little chart. Let's bring this up. So first of all, we're gonna look at a purple Skull Crusher compared to a purple Frostwing Greatsword. So the first thing you're going to notice, you're going to see the stats that I mentioned, 48% attack, 48.5, as well as 16% defense, compared to 33% attack at a purple grade Skull Crusher. So we're talking about 12.5 inf and cav, uh, which adds up to 25, plus 8% uh, range. So obviously at a purple grade, the Skull Crusher is better. Now the thing is, it's more expensive. It costs a little bit over twice the cost of rares. One of the main issue is even though you need more rares for the skull crushers, those rares are easier to get. So why, what do I mean by that? You can get mutated brain from daily logins, bargain store, monstrous chest, and monstrous crate. All of these you cannot find the frostwing hearts. Maybe in the future there's going to be more ways to get the frostwing hearts, but I personally consider it to be a not so great piece of gear so i don't really care if we get more ways to get it now the thing is people are going to say yes but um so since it costs more uh, purple what about a gold skull crusher uh gold frostwing gray sword so let's look at a gold grade uh so you're got the first thing you're going to notice is you get a little bit more attack so uh you get four percent more attack from the uh frostwing the gold frostwing gray sword now the thing is that defense uh, it really depends on how you value defense. Uh, some people will say defense has no value, no value at all. 500% uh, defense equals is is worse than 1% attack. So some people are going to be dumb like that. 
Uh, but some people are going to be, well, you know what? Uh, defense is like a 1 to 5 ratio or a 1 to 10 ratio. So if it's 1 to 5, then that means that that total defense from infantry, uh, infantry would equate about 3% attack. And in that case, the Frostwing Greatsword would still be better uh, by about 1%. If you say it's 1 to 10, then you equate that 16% to 1.6, then you get 50%. It's still lower, obviously, than the Frostwing Greatsword. The main difference, though, is that the gold Frostwing Greatsword costs a lot more. Um, 2.3 gold extra. So, once again, like I mentioned, the brains are easier to get. There's way more ways to get brains than Frostwing Hearts. So, even though the gold Frostwing Greatsword is better, it is not really the cost. Um, the stats that it provides for the cost is not that great. Now, if you have a purple Skull Rusher and a gold Greatsword, keep that gold Greatsword in your mix because it's better. Um, if you have a jewel skull crusher and you don't really want to pay to to rejewel twice from the skull crusher to the great sword and then later on to the back to the skull crusher, then keep it keep them in the skull crusher. I know that's what I'm doing on one account. I do have a purple skull crusher and a gold great sword, and I'm simply uh, keeping my jewels in the skull crusher because I know I'm gonna get the skull crusher to gold uh, soonish. Now, for the next analysis, I want to acknowledge something. So, Sparty on YouTube has a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet, I think, where we have the stats and the cost of Mythic Astrolite uh, piece of gear. So, I want to basically shout out to him because I'm going to be using this for the next part. And the next part is we're going to talk about the Skull, Gold Skull Crusher compared to a Mythic uh, Great Sword. Uh, Frostwing Greatsword. First thing you're gonna notice, you get more attack from the Skull Crusher at gold than a Mythic uh, Mythic um, Greatsword. About 1.5% more. And that's on top of the extra defense you get from the Skull Crusher. So once again, guys, what is 75% attack? It's 20% uh, army attacks times three, uh, plus 15% range attack. So once again, the Skull Crusher is better. And not only is it better, uh, but the thing is, okay, so it costs more rares. Like I said, the rares are easier to get than the Frostwing Greatsword. But the Frostwing Mythic Greatsword, you need to also use four gold embers. When you have this choice, personally, especially if you're leveling both of them, don't quote-unquote waste your embers on the Frostwing Greatsword. Save them for other pieces of gear, uh, even the Skull Crusher. Now, we've talked about this. I want to go back to this chart. So we've said that um, there's basically uh, a couple stats here. So at what point does the Frostwing Greatsword uh, is better than if you're not looking at defense? At what point do you get more attack when you temper the Frostwing Greatsword? And at what point do you get more attack when you factor in, let's say, a 1 to 10 uh, a ratio of defense and a 1 to 5. So basically, we're going to be looking at 75% attack, 77.5, and 80%. So in order to get that, to get those those stats from the fr uh, Frostwing Ray Sword, first of all, you need to temper it 2. So if you do 2 tempering, so that's 10 Astrolite, you get more than 75% attack. So at that point, if you don't care about defense at all, at all, at all, which you should still a little bit, uh, then a tempering level two is better. Now, if you uh, if you think, or it, rather, if your personal ratio is one to ten, and you and you say that twenty five percent defense is equal to two point five percent attack, so we're looking at seventy seven uh, percent. You would need to temper your great sword. So four. So at that point, that's 33 astro astrolite. And in order to beat uh, 80%, which is a, a factor of one to five, a ratio of one to five, you would need to temper to five, and that's uh, 52 astrolite. So once you get a plus five tempering on your great sword, uh, then you know that your great sword is better than a gold skull crusher. Now, if you get a mythic skull crusher, then no matter how many tempering you do on the Greatsword, it's never going to be better. 
So, once again, my favorite choice is the Skull Crusher. Now, let's talk about Skull Crusher compared to Champion. So, when you look at this, we're going to look at a purple Skull Crusher compared to a blue Champion Edge, as well as the other two champions, because they don't have the same stats. So, once again, the same stats apply for the Skull Crusher at purple grade, but a blue Champion Edge would give you 37.55% attack, as well as 24% defense. So, that 8% extra defense, we said with a equal either like 1 to 1.5 percent would still not beat the skull crusher um but the thing is it's obviously cheaper to get a blue champion edge the thing is from a free-to-play perspective you need to get a bunch of crimson mains so in that case you would need uh, between two and three purple crimson mains so if you guys probably know it it's really hard to get um and good luck getting like a purple sword uh, main hand uh, as far as champion if you're free to play. I've gotten a, a uh, often at purple grade on two accounts, but it's uh, it's about um, two quarter three quarters of the cost uh, of a champion edge or the main hand. So when we talk about the other ones, the other ones would be the champion blade and the champion great sword. You get a little bit more attack. Uh, from these about two percent more but still that difference in defense is not enough so you would really need a purple uh, champion main hand to beat the skull crusher and it's always going to be easier for you guys to level up the skull crusher compared to the champion uh, on a free-to-play budget which is zero dollar <laughs> so basically that's Basically, why, uh, why Skull Crusher is like one of the best pieces of gear, if not the best piece of gear that we can get uh, free to play that is not that really hard to get. One of the main issues is that a lot of people, uh, what they will do is in their mix set, they will have like a cup, a ring, and then a burning troll. If you do that, what happens is that you just delay your Skull Crusher. Uh, but it's not so bad. My suggestion, if you're starting your account, you're you're starting to forge your, your stuff, like you don't have a choice to build a greatsword because the Frostwing greatsword is the best thing you could you can forge from the Frostwing. Um, my suggestion, if you if you don't want to go straight up Skull Crusher, go with one cup, a Burning Scroll, two gold, and that's it. Don't don't forge it uh, to Mythic. And a blight ring, and once you get your burning troll to gold, then you can start working with extra, um, extra brains and start working on a skull crusher. And once again, the, the great sword, my suggestion: cap it at gold. Don't put any embers or astrolite. You're just gonna regret this in the long term. This is why the uh, the skull crusher is like personally my proudest achievement to get this to gold. It is really good. It is going to show up in Avatrix's analysis, probably um, either at the top tier or the S tier. It is that good. <laughs> so basically, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you think that the Skull Crusher is let me know if your team skull crusher or if your team great sword because i know that there's a lot of argument about that um stick around there's going to be plenty more videos like this i'm planning to do the next one at this point i don't know which one i'm going to do it's obviously going to be another one um maybe i'm going to do the dragon stalin maybe i'm going to do the codex so we'll see let me know in the comments below guys what you want to see as far as the next piece of gear this is mostly part of almost everyone's uh mix mix set so i will definitely be looking at the other ones that we see a lot in the mix set that is level 60 uh but i'll i'm also going to do the blasts uh, blast piece of gear eventually like the coronet like the uh, gargantuan bell uh, and so on and so on all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you later